Welcome back. Today, easy ways to improve your memory. Yeah, we can all be a little forgetful, but as we age, we've got more of those senior moments. So Patty Kadoran is back and she created a senior moment as a play on words. But today she's got hacks to help us remember more and worry less, which is going to make everybody feel better about themselves. Hi, Patty. Good What's morning. up, Barbie? Yeah, you have to say hi, Barbie. Oh, oh hi, Barbie. <laughs> well, hello. Hello. I haven't seen the movie. I know. I it's only it hi, it. Barbie. Everybody says hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Oh, okay. That's it. There's got no, it. there's no iteration on that. Got it. <laughs> you look great in pink. Oh, well, thank you. But today I thought we'd share some easy hacks to remember what you need to remember or remember what you want to remember and really lean into the traditional meaning of a senior moment today. Okay. See, I like that because senior moment kind of gets a it gets a bad rap and this yeah. is a positive thing but we are talking about memory which I think right. is yes. good. Is it true? Do, do all of us experience decline as we age in terms of memory? It is true that your brain changes as you get older. Mm -hmm. However, I will leave uh, the science of why that happens or the details of it or the research behind it to the health professionals. And today we'll just talk about some easy hacks to help you get past that senior moment. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, so you've got six techniques that are gonna help right. you remember things a little bit better when right. you need them most, okay? Right. So let's start with tip number one, which is pay attention. Right. It's Paying attention is crucial to remembering things. If you don't, if you're not conscious of it, you're not going to remember it. Our brain likes to forget what we ignore. Mm -hmm. And if it's routine or familiar, we tend to forget that even more. How many times have we been in the shower and we can't remember if we put the conditioner in our hair? Yes. Right. Or we're driving yeah. downtown driving. and we can't remember seeing the stadium as we yeah. went past it. So it's important to pay attention to what you want to remember. Yeah. Well, my kids will sometimes say, I'll say, oh, where are you going tonight? I told you yesterday I'm mm -hmm. going to so-and-so's house. And what I'll say to them is I wasn't paying attention or you told yeah. me while I was doing something else. That's true for all of us, I think, right. regardless mm -hmm. of age. My kids forget so much Like stuff. learning a name. Somebody says their name and you forget it yeah you got to do something in yes, your head you to, to, right. to recall it to remember attention. it right. um i think tip number two is very interesting because you say do something unique or, or, or even something bizarre or quirky to remember right. it the more quirky bizarre or unique the action is the better our brain remembers it and it remembers it more deeply so I was positively OCD about remembering to unplug my curling iron. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you the amount of times that I turned my car around and drove back home just to make sure my curling iron was unplugged. We yes. all done that. But I yep. have to credit my friend Kevin Brandt who gave me the suggestion. He said, when you unplug your curling iron, mm -hmm. look at the plug, pretend that it exploded, and just say out loud, kaboom. And I huh. never forget anymore. Really? Mm -hmm. That's just simple. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Something, something, something bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it, imagine an explosion. Mm -hmm. Most of us are going to remember something <laughs> that explodes. My <laughs> friend, because she has a fear of that and she's a bit OCD, she'll take a picture every time she leaves. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's so much work. And then I would forget, was that picture from today or yesterday? <laughs> so I like that. It's a great, it helps it's a great, great idea. Remember. It helps All right, remember. the next one, tip number three is write it down or use visual imagery. Right, don't be afraid to write things down. Um, we all need a little bit of help sometimes. And even a surgeon has a checklist yeah. for, to make sure he doesn't leave instruments in his patient. And even a pilot has a checklist before he takes off. So write it down. It mm -hmm. doesn't, it, don't be embarrassed. No, nope. like get those post-it yep. notes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the post-it note, mm -hmm. I think is fantastic. Uh, this is big. Is, you say, uh, tip number four, associate it with something you already know. That's yeah. what I do when I meet Names. people and try to remember a name. Mm -hmm. So if I meet someone named Tiffany, I'll think, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I'll connect her with you somehow yeah. in my head. And the next time I see her, I'll remember her name is no, Tiffany. No, I don't like right. that. Right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's only one of you, right? <laughs> if, if we connect a new memory with a long-term memory, yeah. it, it helps. And you were talking about names. For example, people say if you repeat the name when you meet somebody, that helps. Right. So if I were to meet Tiffany, I'd say, Tiffany, it's nice to meet you. So out loud. Out loud. But in my head, I would be thinking, breakfast at. Yeah. And then I can associate it with, with something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when I meet Molly, I'd say, Molly, it's nice to meet you. But in my brain, I'd be thinking, good golly, miss. And so oh, every time I yeah. see you, I think of that, and then I remember your names. Cute. That's cute because you probably end up saying it at some point and you'd be like, that's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't think it out loud. Yeah, that'd be really cute. I like that. Number five is use chunking. So Chunk explain that. The government is great at helping us remember our social security numbers by using chunking. Yeah. Yes. It's a chunk of three numbers, a chunk of two numbers, 
a chunk of four numbers mm -hmm. or a telephone number. It's a chunk of three numbers, a chunk of three numbers, and a chunk of four numbers. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Our license plate. Yes. Oh, I don't remember that very well. I know, I always forget <laughs> mine too. Okay, last, use external helpers. So what would those be? What are examples? So don't be afraid to use technology. Mm -hmm. For example, use the alarm feature on your phone to help you remember something. Yes, or I do that all I, the time. Or I came across these wonderful little pill bottles. Okay. Oh. I knew them. They okay. have a timer in their cap. Oh, so wow. once you open and shut them, the timer starts again. So if you had to take a pill this morning and no it was way. New, look at that. You would if you you can stop So did you it, buy these somewhere it. separate? Yeah, I got them oh. on Amazon. No oh, way. I that see. is the coolest thing yeah. ever, and then put Patty. It back on and then it uh, starts. Th then the timer starts and if you it's 12 that? noon and you were supposed to take an 8 a.m. pill, it would say four, oh, you know, 4 hours. That's cool. If you look forgot at that. to take it, it would say 28 hours. And you would know, oh my gosh, I should have taken this pill four hours ago. So cool, Patty. I that think that's So you got these on, you know, everybody's going to want to know. You got these on Amazon. On Amazon, they were very, very cheap. I just and what was, do you call them? Pill timers um, or caps? Pill bottles with timers in their cap. Timer cap. Yeah. How about yeah. that? That is so cool, You're Patty. Solving problems. You should, you should right. have an uh, affiliate marketing on these. You're going to sell a lot of them. <laughs> exactly. I know. And, and last but not least, I just want to remind people, if you can't find your reading glasses, they're probably on the top of your head. <laughs> I know my kids all of them appear in my head, appear here, and they'll be like, Mom, they're on your head. That's so funny. And your cell phone's in your hand. <laughs> exactly. Go where you're talking on it, right? <laughs> oh, Patty. Good Thank to see you. you. <laughs> it's really good to rewatch this segment again or send it to one of your forgetful friends. Just kidding. Who can use a memory boost? Go to our website, themorningblend.com.